This question is about functions, composite functions, and inverse functions. Um, and here are our two functions, f of x, we can re rewrite this if we want as f of x is equal to e to the x plus 2, and our g of x is equal to ln x. Just be careful what they give us here. Now they tell us the x numbers we can put in, any x number, that's our domain, and here they tell us that the x number we can put in is x is strictly bigger than 0. And we have been given the domains. Okay, let's work our way through each part. Firstly, it says state the range of function f. Now, a lot of people wrote x is a real number. That is the domain. That is not the range. So it is not appropriate here. The range are the y values you get out or the output numbers. Now, whenever you want to know the range of any graph, it's always a good idea to draw it. Now, this is the graph of e to the x let's say, and it crosses here at 0, 1. Now, e to the x plus 2 is just shifted up 1, 2 spots, and it would cross at um, 0, 3. It also, before, it was uh, asymptoting to the x-axis. Now, it asymptotes to the line y is equal to 2. So, what y values can this function take here? Well, it can take any value bigger than 2. So what we would state for the range is that f of x is strictly bigger than 2. And the graph shows us that. Simple as that. Part B. Find f of g of x. And it says give your answer in its simplest form. Right. f of g of x. That means you work out f at g of x. You substitute g of x into f. Now, what is g of x? Well, it's ln x. So this is the same as work, working out f of ln x. That means wherever you see x here in, in the function definition, you put ln x. So this would be e to the ln x, and then plus 2. Now, you should know that e and ln are inverse functions. So e to the ln x is simply x, so you would have x plus 2. That is it in its simplest form. Part c. Find the exact value of f of 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. So we are trying to solve f of 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. So substitute 2x plus 3 in here, and you would get e to the 2x plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. Now several people totally forgot this plus 2. This plus 2 here still needs to be here. The only thing you're changing is instead of writing x, you're writing 2x plus 3. Now, another mistake people do is at this stage, they take luns of both sides. And I saw uh, things like, therefore, 2x plus 3 plus lun 2 is equal to lun 6. That is not right at all. Because um, if you take lun of this here, then uh, say, for example, lun of x plus y... That is not equal to ln x plus ln y. It is not equal to that. So you cannot do anything of that nature. What is more sensible here, before you uh, take natural logarithms of both sides, why wouldn't you subtract 2 of both sides? So you would get e to the 2x plus 3 is equal to 4. Now you can take natural logarithms of both sides and get 2x plus 3 is ln 4. And then making x a subject of the formula, x is therefore ln 4, subtract 3, all divided by 2. Part D, find the inverse function of f. Well, you know that f of x, or you can call it y, is equal to e to the x plus 2. Okay, so let's try and get x a subject of the formula. Subtract 2 off both sides and take logarithms. So ln of y minus 2 is equal to x. So that's given x in terms of y, and that, that is your inverse function. Therefore, f to the minus 1 of x, swapping x and y back, would be the natural logarithm of x subtract 2. Now, what's its domain? It's very important here. It doesn't just ask for the inverse. It says state its domain. Now, you should know that any ln graph, you should know a, a normal ln graph looks like that. The one thing you can't do is put a, a, have a negative um, 
Uh, you can't put anything negative into a logarithm there. So x has to be bigger, strictly bigger than 2. Okay, here for this to work, and that is the, is the domain. Lastly, on the same axis, draw these two. Well, already you've drawn e to the x plus 2 when you're doing part, um, part 1. Remember, e to the x looks something like this, crossing at 0, 1, and asymptote into the x-axis, but it's been moved up by 1, 2 units. Okay, so this point here is therefore 0, 3, and it's asymptoting off towards the line y is 2. So, we should know that the inverse graph is like this, but it's a reflection in the line y is equal to x. It's a reflection in something like that line there. Now, this point here should be 3, 0. And it would asymptote, instead of to y is 2, but it would asymptote to x is 2. So the graph would look something like that there. Now, the y is x doesn't look quite right. It should have looked a bit more like that. And you can see that they are actually reflections of each other now. And it was very important you mark off these key points. It says to in the question.